they are among the best talents in England and in the world. Mentioning about important players in the world, a lot of rumors, guys, about Liverpool midfielder. Hey guys, and welcome back on the channel from Fabrizio Romano, as always, to keep you posted on the transfer market. And today, guys, we have many things to discuss because we have to update on three centre backs deal, also on a May United call, an important news for Arsenal, and it's not just Declan Rice, as we know, but also Liverpool midfielders, the situation on Soboslai, what's going on with Fede Valverde, also something on Romero Lukaku. Remember, guys, that today's news are brought to you by dualbits.com, official European betting partner of Aston Villa Football Club and official South American betting partner of Argentinian national team. You can follow them on uh, Twitter, dualbits, on their account for great content and link in the description. Let's jump into it together. <music> And so guys, let me start today's video mentioning the busy days for centre-backs. We said yesterday night, an exclusive news, an exclusive, here we go for Kim Min Jae to Bayern. The deal is done. Agreement completed with Kim Min Jae on the contract. Five-year deal, really important salary, more than double of what he's having right now at Napoli. And in the next days, Bayern will trigger the release clause to sign the player for Napoli who are already looking for replacement. Mentioning centre-backs, why I came to Bayern? Because they are selling Lucas Hernandez to PSG. Is another here we go. I already told you days ago about this deal. Imminent is now done for a fee around 45 million euros with add-ons to Paris Saint-Germain. From Bayern, the player is already in Paris to have his medical and sign a three-year contract with an option for further season. So Lucas Hernandez to PSG, Kim to Bayern, and also Pau Torres, who was in Bayern list, he is going to Aston Villa. It's done deal between clubs with Villarreal, paying way less than the release close, and also with the player. So Pau to Aston Villa, important signing. Unai Emery really wanted him, and now he will have one of his top targets. Also important to say, guys, that it's not just about centre-backs, because something I mentioned yesterday night and in the past few days about Andre Onana is that May United interest is there. I can say that also in the recent hours, today, May United had one more contact with Andre Onana's camp, waiting to see when and if they will make an official bid to Inter. They want around 50, 55 million euros for Onana. Not less than this, but for sure May United interest is there. They are very well informed on the conditions on player and club side, and the player would be open to Premier League experience. But this depends on my United, not on Inter or not on Andre Onana. And also something what I uh, wanted to tell you guys is about part of Manchester United call for Onana, of many English clubs call for Ethan Nwaneri, the youngest player ever to make his debut in the Premier League. Top talent for Arsenal, born in 2007, was a complicated situation because his contract was due to expire very soon. And so many top clubs around Europe and especially in England wanted to sign Nwaneri and made proposals to sign Nwaneri, but he decided to stay at Arsenal. Exclusive news in the morning, we can say now, here we go for Juaneri, who's signing a scholarship contract at Arsenal, and then right after, when he will turn 17, a new contract at the club for 2.6 years. So the deal is in place for Juaneri to stay at Arsenal. This is a really big news because Juaneri, together with uh, Mickey Moore, uh, who extended his contract at Tottenham a few days ago, they are among the best talents in England and in the world. Mentioning about important players in the world, a lot of rumors, guys, about Liverpool midfielders. We know they have an interest in Kefren Turam, who remains in the list, but also in Dominic Schoboslai. Schoboslai is in the list at Liverpool, for sure. He's a player they really appreciate, one of the big targets, but they have to decide internally if they want to pay what Red Bull Leipzig want or not. So it's up to Liverpool now, it's up to internal discussions. What is important to mention is that the release close, 70 million euros, as I said two weeks ago, is only valid in June, not in July. If they want to pay the close in July, the player can only move in January. So if they want to trigger the close, it has to be now and by the end of June. Otherwise, it has to be a negotiation with Leipzig. This is obviously a possibility, but it's not going to be an easy one. But Liverpool are still discussing about Dominic Schoboslai as an option. For Newcastle, it's now complicated after they spent big money on Sandro Tonali. They love Shoboslai, but it's not easy in terms of budget. For Fede Valverde, guys, many questions. I don't know where this rumor is coming from, but I'm told that Fede Valverde is 100% in Real Madrid plans, and Real Madrid have no plans to let him go. So Fede Valverde and Real Madrid plan to continue together despite rumors on Liverpool or any other club. Something else about Chelsea, guys, is about Romelu Lukaku, because the player confirmed again on his side that the priority is Inter move. But this deal depends on Inter. Inter will be in touch with Chelsea, not this week, but starting from next week, 
to discuss a potential loan deal with an obligatory, so mandatory uh, buy option to be included uh, into the contract, but to be paid in installments. So in many years, let's see how the conversation between Inter and Chelsea will go. But it's really important to understand that nothing is happening today, tomorrow. It's going to take time for this Romero Lukaku negotiation for Inter. And so let's be patient. But Romero Lukaku wants to go there. He already said no. To Saudi clubs. And so guys, let me know your opinion on all these stories, centre-backs, Andre Onana, Ethan Waneri and the hijack of English clubs avoided, but also Shoboslai, Fede Valverde and much more. Let me know your opinions guys. Hit in the comments, remember to like this video, turn on the notification bell, subscribe to the channel and see you soon with Fabrizio. Ciao!